Hi guys! In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a bread toast, lettuce and slices of cheese, tomato and meat to create a sandwich. It would be an amazing DIY gift for your kids. It is safer than plastic toys and perfect for this season. Let's begin with a bread toast. With beige yarn, make 14 chain. Round 1, chain 1. Insert your hook through the second chain from hook. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops on the hook. You have got a single crochet. Repeat to make 14 single crochet for the first row. From row 2 to 12, chain 1 and turn. Make 14 single crochet in each row. Next row, chain 1 and turn. For the first 2 stitches, make 2 single crochet in each stitch. So a single crochet increase in the first and another single crochet increase in the second one. Work a single crochet in each of the next 10 stitches. Then, end the row with 2 single crochet increase, so the total number of stitches for row 13 is 18. Chain 1 and turn, make a single crochet increase. Followed by 16 single crochet. Then end the row with a single crochet increase in the last stitch. At the end of row 14, you will have 20 stitches. Chain 1 and turn. Make a single crochet to every stitch so you still have 20 stitches. Chain 1 and turn. Single crochet the first and the second stitches together. Then make 16 single crochet and end the row with a single crochet decrease. As you decrease twice, the number of stitches is now 18. Chain 1 and turn. Make 2 single crochet decrease. Followed by 10 single crochet. Then 2 single crochet decrease to the last 4 stitches. At the end, you have 14 stitches. Just cut the yarn and hide the tail. Now insert brow yarn to the first stitch of row 17. We will crochet the border of the braid toast. Make 13 single crochet to the top side. Then make 2 single crochet in each of the next 5 stitches. I'm going to skip the next stage and crochet 11 single crochet to the side.
When reaching the bottom corner, make three single crochet to the next stitch. Work 11 single crochet to the bottom. Three single crochet to the next corner again. Eleven single crochet to the side. Skip the next stitch and finally work five single crochet increase in the next five stitches. I will not slip stitch to finish. Instead, cut the yarn and thread the tail through both loops of the beginning stitch, then to the back loop of the last stitch. You will have a better finish. With green yarn, I'm gonna create a magic ring to crochet a lettuce. Chain 2, yarn over and insert your hook through the magic ring, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops, Yarn over and pull through the last two loops. Repeat to make 12 double crochet in the magic ring. Slip stitch to end the route. Route 2, chain 2. Make 12 double crochet increase, which means 2 double crochet in each of the 12 stitches. So at the end of row 2, you will have 24 stitches. Slip stitch to end the route. Row 3, chain 2. Repeat row 2, which is 2 double crochet in every stitch around. It is 24 double crochet increase or 48 double crochet in total. Slip stitch to end the route. Row 4, chain 2, make 4 double crochet in the first stitch. Three double crochet in the next stitch. And then in the next stage, make a double crochet increase. Repeat a route. So you will make a set of four double crochet in a stage, three double crochet in the next stage, followed by a double crochet increase. for 16 times. At the end of this final route, you will have 144 stages. Fasten off and hide the tail.
using yellow yarn, make 14 chains to start crocheting the cheese slice. Round 1, chain 1, yarn over and insert your hook through the second chain from hook. Yarn over and print through. Yarn over and print through all 3 loops on the hook. Repeat to make 14 half double crochet for the first round. From round 2 to 14, chain 1 and turn. Make a half double crochet in each of the 14 stitches. It's just simple as that. The half double crochet stitch is suitable to make a cheese slice as it creates a thicker texture than the other stitches. Fasten off and hide the tail to finish a cheese slice. With light pink yarn, make a magic ring to start making a mid slice. Round 1, chain 1. Yarn over and insert your hook through the ring. Yarn over and pull it through. Yarn over and pull it through all 3 loops on the hook. Repeat 8 times to make 8 half double crochet into the magic ring. From row 2 to 8, increase 8 stitches in each row. It is necessary to change the position of the increased stitch in every row so that your mid slice is round. I have put the pattern on the screen. You can pause the video to follow. Press the knob and hide the tail to finish. To make a tomato slice, I will use pink and red yarn. Make a magic ring with pink yarn first. Round 1, chain 1. 6 single crochet to the magic ring. Slip stitch to end the round. In the next five rows increase six stages in every round. Slip stitch in every round for the ending. So at the end of round five, you will have thirty stages. Next row will be in red color, so change to red. If you do not know how to change colors, please find my detailed tutorial in the top right corner or you can also find it in the description below. Row 6 Make two single crochet. Followed by a single crochet increase. Then single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Repeat around. You have 36 stitches for round 6. Slip stitch to end the round. Row 7, make 5 single crochet.
Now in the next stage, you will make a front post treble crochet increase to the stitch in row 3. So go find the corresponding stitch to the next stitch in row 3. Yarn over twice, insert your hook so that the post is to the front of the hook. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops at a time until there is one loop left. Repeat another time on the same stage. So this is the next stage. Work 5 single crochet to the next 5 stages. And then make a single crochet increase in the next stage. Repeat making this set for 3 times. So at the end of row 7, you will have 42 stitches. Row 8, chain 1 and make the set of 3 single crochet, single crochet increase in the next stage, and then 3 single crochet for 6 times. At the end, you will have 48 stitches in total. Fasten off and hide the tail. Now I'm going to embroider the seas with beige yarn. And that's how to crochet a sandwich with meat, cheese, and vegetables. Don't just watch my tutorial. Let's yarn over with me and tag me if you share your finished crochet projects online. I'm looking forward to seeing your sandwich. And as the festive season is around the corner, I would like to send the warmest wishes for a joyous holiday season and a happy new year to you and your family. May peace, love, prosperity and crochet inspiration follow you always. Thank you for watching. Happy crocheting and happy holiday.